I'm with Andy Hawes, who's a teacher in the Boise 13th Ward, and he has taught just a remarkable <laughs> lesson in priesthood, and I want to interview him today to get his thoughts about how he prepared and how, um, and how he delivered the, the lesson. He had so much class participation. It was one of the classes where I was absolutely amazed at how much class participation you were able to get. Do you, do you mind if I video you with my phone as I interview it's you? totally fine, Jerry. Okay. I'm happy to. So why don't you talk about the lesson that you taught, the, the material that you used, and how you prepared? Sure. So the, the lesson was based on a general conference talk, um, and the title of that talk was called uh, Divine Discontent. And as I read uh, the talk, there was a, a it's, it's built off a, a quote from Elder Maxwell. And Elder Maxwell talked about this notion of, you know, we're, we're here and we feel feelings of discontent because we feel, you know, divine um, potential that we're not necessarily meeting. So the question is, is, well, how do we close that gap? And when I think about preparation, um, Sometimes I think about uh, being an undergraduate, and I remember at some point along my undergraduate studies, I figured out that if I spent two hours outside of the classroom for every hour in the classroom, I seemed to do better. And when I think about teaching, um, I mean, again, that, that's the role as a student, but as a teacher, I think that actually is compounded. So I always try to maintain a ratio of, you know, for, for every hour that I'm going to be teaching, usually about four hours of preparation goes into lessons. Um, and that's about the ratio that I try to maintain. Wow. Um, and the question that is, well, what do you spend that time doing? And certainly you want to be familiar with the, the lesson material. But the bulk is trying to figure out questions to ask. And when I think about how the Savior taught... Right? The Savior used questions masterfully, and a lot of times those questions were, they, they caused the people that were listening to him uh, to go into greater depths of introspection. A lot of times those questions were a little uncomfortable. They were certainly open-ended in many cases. Um, there, there were, at times, those questions didn't necessarily have one right answer. So, so a lot of my preparation time is trying to figure out the right questions to ask that will elicit a really good um, and introspective um, dialogue. A lot of those questions have tension, right? There might not necessarily be, again, the right answer, but that caused people to wrestle with emotions within themselves, with their own lived experience, within the, the next steps they can take in their own gospel uh, progression and journey. 